happening between the weekend we had with the whole prana thing and everything and then now with the fucking corona shit i don't even know yeah it's just uh it's been going this year has been so weird yeah like go with the kobe shit and then and then all this and then oh my god it's been crazy yeah, I thought back on the Kobe thing too, because that happened I mean, a week before the Super Bowl. Oh yeah. And I was thinking about it. I was I was thinking about it today actually. I was driving home from work and I was like, damn man. I was like, this this is this year's not <laughs> we're not even <laughs> through three months yet. And this has been like crazy. So I thought back on the Kobe thing, I was just like I just remember seeing that come up. Like the news come up. Yeah. I just couldn't you know, I couldn't believe it. It's just like, no, it's not. That's got to be fake. You know what I mean? Like, that's the first reaction you have, obviously, when you see it on social media. Something that ridiculous oh, yeah. is like, got to be fake. And then I first, when I first saw it, it was like a, a post from uh, TMZ. On, no, it was actually World World Star that posted it on Instagram. I was like, there's no way. It's, it's like, I was like, this is World Star. It's got to be fake or something. I was like. What the fuck's going on right now? I was like, I couldn't. I, I was just like, okay, this is definitely not going to be true. I'm going to see a bunch of other like reports that are like, oh, this was just fake. It's going to be one of those things where it's just like, yeah, like something made up, like one of the like a hoax. Like it's just going to be one of those hoaxes that you see like all the time. You see a lot of hoaxes nowadays. That's what I thought it was, and then <laughs> just saw a bunch of reports coming in about it, and I was like, are you serious? And it started sinking. It started like. I really, I really started like believing it. Like I was like, it still took like a while for me to actually like for it to sink in all the way. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I saw it on Twitter. I, I don't like. I was you know just on Twitter. And I saw someone posted on. I don't know. Saw it come through the timeline, or someone posted on one of the other chats or something like that that I was on. Yeah. And it was just like, you know, even the person I think the person that posted it on one of the other chats I'm in was like, "Is this real?" You know, and it was from TMZ. So, yeah, granted, they get the blue check mark and all that stuff, but it's like, all right, you know, is it, you know, is this real? You know, it's TMZ. So you take it with a grain of salt. But, um, but yeah, then once uh, everything started coming out, it's like, oh my God, this is how, you know, and when you get reputable people, you know, shams and like Woj and like guys like that, like, you know, starting reporting on stuff, it's like, damn. That was crazy. Yeah, but then just flipping them back to the coronavirus shit, like it was just like crazy. It wasn't anything happening, and then all of a sudden, flip the switch to the yesterday, and then all of a sudden, everything just goes downhill. Like, like I didn't, I just heard, like as soon as I didn't even know anything, I didn't have my phone near me. Like when I saw the news, I just saw it like on the bottom of the screen. I was watching the uh, Syracuse game. It's like the ACC tournament game from last night. And then I looked at the bottom of the screen. It says breaking news. I'm like, oh, shit, what happened? And then I saw I was like, NBA cancels, I mean, whatever, postpones the season or suspends the season. That's the word, yeah. Like, yeah. suspends the season. And I saw Rudy Gobert test positive. I was like, what the hell? I was like, holy shit. Like, that just turned. We all, it seemed like everybody was so chill about it. And all this, and nobody was like flipping out. And all of a sudden, Boom! That happens, and everybody just starts going crazy about it. Yeah, it just blew up like uh, you know immediately. You know, Gobert, and now now with Donovan Mitchell too. Yeah. Or the dad, you know, works for the Mets, and and you had Tom Hanks and his wife, who's in Australia, shooting a movie about Elvis Presley. Yeah. Like they got it, and like it's just you know, uh, yeah. This is just, you know, and as soon as the NBA decided to cancel games and suspend the season, you knew, you knew the NHL was following suit because the N- NBA and NHL, they, their teams share a lot of arenas together yeah. also. So the locker rooms are similar. You know what I mean? They're the same. So as soon as one person gets something in, in the NBA, like Gobert, like, you know, obviously they're going to shut down the NHL. I mean, it took them another, another day, like today, but. MLB was it was a little surprising to me. I'm not not so surprising, but 
I guess they're sharing locker rooms and stuff, and they, you know, and the fans and everything in spring training. Hey, it's better to play safe than sorry. One you thing know. is, uh, I'm trying to think. There's somebody that's like related to somebody on the Mets, like from the from the Jazz. I think. Like they're yeah. It was, um, I think it was Donovan Mitchell. Actually, right. I think it was his dad. His dad is on. It works for the Mets. Or something. His dad works for the Mets. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So like then. Like they sh- like that means that they they could have like been been around his dad and then his he, his dad could have it and then you know he could spread it to the Mets the mess of the Mets or whatever. Yeah, well, his dad was at one of their games the other day too. Oh yeah, a couple of days ago. <clears throat> so who knows? I mean, you know, this thing's like starting to get out of hand, and it's like it's got to get under control. So I mean, they're doing the right thing. You know, it sucks for us sports fans. You know, it's really bad because now everything is shut down. I mean, we've got nothing to watch. Yeah. I'm just like, what am I going to be doing? Like, I guess guess I'll start reading more books. (laughs) Well, I told told a bunch of my guys, like, I'm going to, I'm going to just a text chat with a bunch of guys that, you know, I started up a fantasy baseball league. You know, I got the draft on Tuesday. You know, I run the league. You know, there's only 10 of us. It's a 10 team league, yeah. points league stuff. But, um, you know, everyone was like, oh, the delay. And it's like, you know, all this stuff talking about it. And I'm like, well, we, I guess we all got to get into NASCAR now because yeah. <laughs> they're still racing this weekend. They're just not going to have no fans there. But I mean, the drivers don't, you know, they're not interacting with each other. It's not like basketball where you're banging into each other and oh. stuff like that, you know. The drivers are in their separate cars, so it's not like they're breathing on each other or anything like that. No. The XFL today mm. suspended season two. Yeah, I was I was kind of I was holding out hope that that was that was they were gonna be like the one that didn't cancel. And I was still gonna be able to watch that. Like, imagine if they ended up still playing. Like, they would be like the only thing people would be watching. They would get so much views from that. Yeah, but is it worth it? I mean, talking about, you know, talking about virus. And I know people are saying that it's getting out of hand, that people are overreacting. And yes, I think people are overreacting. I mean, I see it. I work in retail and I work at a supermarket. I do receiving, so I'm downstairs. But I see it. Like, people (laughs) running in, getting water and toilet paper and stuff. I was like, what? (laughs) Really? This is what you think of? Like, I... <clears throat> that's the thing I don't get about all this. Like people showing pictures in like Walmart, Costco, and BJ's and stuff, like empty shelves of paper yeah. towels and like toilet paper and stuff. Really? <laughs> what, what, what do you think this is, man? <laughs> this isn't a zombie apocalypse. I mean, let's get real here. I mean, it's, you know, look, it's got a higher, so far, it's got a higher mortality rate because it hasn't been diagnosed as much. As the flu, because people are comparing it to the flu. It's not the flu. It's a strain, I suppose, of the flu. I mean, Beth just wrote an article about it. So, I mean, I would go with her opinion more than anyone else's. You know, obviously the CDC and the World Health Organization. But, I mean, it's not the the mortality rates are are way higher for people who are over 70 they said something like the, the Diamond Princess, the Japanese boat that people were uh, got the coronavirus on. There was something like 190 people that were diagnosed with the coronavirus. Six people died. Mm-hmm. All six people who died from the virus were over 70. Oh, so this is this is these are the people it's affecting to that, that extreme. <clears throat> if you're a regular healthy adult, it's going to hit you like the flu. You're going to be out of commission for a couple of days. Take some aspirin, ibuprofen, Tylenol. Keep the fever down. Get plenty of liquids. Rest. Just stay in bed and keep yourself away from people for like three days. And you should be fine. I mean, it's not, not, it's not something that's going to like, you know, it's not something that's going to kill you if you're a normal, regular, you know, a healthy adult. Yeah. So that's where I think people are getting a little crazy, you know, but 
spread it to anyone. No one wants to see their grandfather die. Or like, you know, I mean, you don't want a cake to get home with you and, you know, spread it to the rest of your family. So, and yeah. who wants to have the flu? <laughs> who wants to be, have, who wants to feel like that and have 103 fever for three days? You know, no one wants to do yeah. that. And you talk about like spreading it to family members. My, like me and my dad were talking about like my, my, my one uncle just, he's still recovering from cancer. So like if he ends up getting it, that would not be good at all. Like he's still got, he's got a lot, bunch of underlying problems that if he gets it, then it wouldn't be too good. So that's why that's like the most thing. One thing I'm really worried about is him and my like, I want to pass it to my grandmother or my grandfather. So that's that's really I'm not really worried about myself as much as that. Just passing on to those kind of people. No, definitely. <clears throat> my father in law my father in law actually came up on uh, this past weekend to visit us, us up here in Boston and he's um he's a cancer survivor. Mm-hmm. But he's got his immune system is not that great. And he's in his sixties already and everything like that. So it's like he was actually gonna um he's got family uh over in Italy and he was gonna travel over there in like a month. He was getting ready to go like end of April, beginning of May. And that shot out of the water. <laughs> his his immune system is down, you know what I mean? Like he it's hard for him to travel anyway, but with this stuff and well, obviously with Italy shutting everything down. You know, there's no way. So, kind of sucks. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah, it's just amazing. Dude, no. Dude, never seen, never seen sports like this. No. Or as shut down as a group like this. Yeah. Even, amazing. Yeah, it's just like so, like it's like never. First, like first time that it's ever happened, like this, where we just don't have anything to watch. Like, and once it's back, like there's uh, over there, I was listening to something earlier on the radio. And they were talking about like once it comes back, there's gonna be like kind of a moment. There's probably gonna be a moment like, like after nine eleven when uh, what the hell? I just forgot the Mets. Like the Mets came and played the first game, and uh, what the heck, catchers? What my mind just went blank. The catchers. Oh, Piazza, yeah, Piazza, the Braves, yeah, when he hit that, yeah, one. yeah. It was like they were saying, like, once, once, like, the sports come back, there's gonna be a moment like that where it just brings everybody together again. Like, that's what sports oh. do. So that's the main thing. Like, it's so sad about the all the sports be, not being around for at least, you know, probably at least a month at this point, and like. That's the that's why I'm feeling like like that's that that takes you away from everything. Sports is what does that. It takes it away from all your problems. You just fixated on the TV and watching your team or whatever, and just that's what it does. So that's like the, that's so sad about it. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, I remember I'm a Saints fan, and I remember like the whole thing. Not that I live down there, but the whole thing with Katrina, 2005, you know, and then when 2006, when the Saints finally came back to the new Metrodome, you know, Mercedes-Benz Dome, and, you know, everything, it was just such a, it was so amazing for everybody down there, because they have such a huge fan base. I mean, who got nation, and like, all that stuff, like, they, you know, they're one of the best fan bases in the NFL, and I'm not, I'm not being a homer with that. Like, they're really loyal, you know, and you got to remember, New Orleans doesn't exactly have. Um, it's not like they have anything else except for basketball. All right. You know, they have football and basketball. That's it. Like they don't have a baseball team. They don't have a hockey team. You know what I mean? So the Saints are, and the Pelicans are rel- relatively new. Yeah. So I mean, the Saints, the Saints is that's what it is down there. The Saints and LSU. You know, it's football. So. Them coming back in 2006 and making it to the NFC Championship game, playing the Bears and stuff like that, like that was a huge thing for them. After Katrina and that disaster, you know, how that was handled and everything like that. Like, you know, I remember that catastrophe, you know. So, I mean, you see, like you said, like sports brings people together and this is what people got to rally around, you know, and they will. 
you know, it's going it, to, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. So we missed some games, you know, One thing, it's going to be rough, but the worst, like the worst part of it though, is just, I, I feel so bad for like the, like college athletes, like basketball players that, especially yeah. seniors, that missed out on playing the tournament. Like that's the, that's definitely the worst part is now they they're obviously not going to be able to make it up at all. So that's like, I was thinking maybe they would have ended up pushing it till like maybe have like, you know, May, they had May Madness instead of March or something. But I don't know. It's just, I guess it's just a hard thing to do, like for college students to push something like that. It is. And the, you know what it is? The planning with the arenas and stuff. I mean, this stuff is planned years ahead of time. Yeah. Like the Super Bowl. You know what I mean? So, granted, I'm sure there could be things moved around with the arenas if they wanted to plan it, say, in April or May. But now, don't forget, when's the NBA draft? June? It's around the it's around it's around when the MLB draft is, right? Yeah. And the May beginning of June, around there. Mm-hmm. I mean, how close do you want to push that? You know, it's a at this point, you're probably better off just canceling it. You know, it's a, it's a rough thing because March Madness. I was looking it up before March Madness started in 1939. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. been going on for. 81 years, 80 years, like mm-hmm. 80, 81 years, like, you know, this would have been the 82nd March Madness where they've had a tournament. I mean, granted, it was a lot smaller back then when it started, you know, only got to the rounds of 64, I think, in like 19, I want to say 1965 or so. But, I mean, this is the first year since then. Yeah. But I thought that it's been canceled. And I mean, you know, the baseball season's not starting on time. It was the first time since 1995, since the strike, the strike in 94 that ended the season. They started the 95 season three weeks late. Yeah. Because the strike carried over, you know, to April. But <clears throat> I mean, it's it's crazy. It's crazy what's going on because this is, you know, this, you don't see this all the time. No. Yeah, it's. I had tickets for the Yankees home opener, so I'm, I'm like, Oof. hopefully they end up like giving me like hopefully end up being where I can just still go to it like the makeup day of it. They're gonna give you. I'm sure they'll give you a makeup day. From what I saw, I saw one tweet today from and I can't remember who it was from, but they were talking about just resuming whenever they decide to resume um, to start the Major League Baseball season. They're going to start it there, no matter what the schedule was beforehand. Mm-hmm. They're just going to start it. The schedule is going to stay the same. So if they start the schedule instead of March 26th, they start the schedule, say, April 15th. I don't know. I'm just picking a date. Yeah. Those are the games that will be played on April 15th, the games that are already scheduled. There's not going to be any change in the schedule or anything like that. It's just going to – they're going to pick a date to start. And that's when they'll start the schedule from wow. and just not do the games that were scheduled beforehand. Yeah. That would be rough. Which makes sense. I mean, instead of re- redoing the schedule, I mean, the travel and the logistics and stuff of all these teams, it's, it gets convoluted. If you're going to rework the whole schedule to fit, like, say, like 144 game season, you're better off just starting it wherever you're going to start it. <laughs> from the point where you already have the schedule made, you know, it's so just, it's gonna be weird though, because like actually it was like I bought the tickets like not for a bus trip, like so now it's gonna be like figuring out with the bus company, like what do I like? I don't know if they're gonna have a bus trip for a different game or something, or I don't know what they're gonna do. They probably could. Yeah, but like they have a bunch of trips throughout the season, but that was like the one I wanted to go to. But oh. yeah. Uh, Oh. oh well, it's still gonna be a whole season anyway. Once it's, we're still gonna get at least you know, hopefully at least like a hundred, probably like hundred thirty some games or one forty, whatever. Yeah, well, I put that poll out there from the Scorecrow on Twitter, yeah. so when everyone to vote, retweet, you know, because I'm thinking it's gonna be, I'm thinking it's gonna be about hundred forty games. It would be my guess. 
is 130 to 140, like around there. Because I think they're going to miss, I honestly think they're going to miss three to four weeks of the season. I honestly don't think they're going to start until the end of April. Yeah, that's probably I like think them. I think, think they're going to get the all clear maybe the second week of April, which will be three weeks in. And I think a lot of these teams are still going to be working out, at obviously, at the spring training complexes. they still got to be working out with their teams. They're not all going to go home. No. So what my what my my logic is they're going to start the season a month after it's supposed to start so end of april but i think 3 weeks in like maybe middle of april they're going to give the all clear and i think teams are going to especially teams that are close to them where they don't have to travel a lot you know close to them in arizona close to them in florida you know teams they play that share facilities and stuff like that. If the all clear is there, I think they may play a couple exhibition games just to get like game shape, like type thing, like game, you know, just, just scrimmages, basically seven inning games, like stuff like that. Nothing mm-hmm. crazy like spring training or anything like that. But I think just to get guys in kind of game mode, I think they're going to have a couple games for that. And then they're going to travel back up to the to, back up to their respective cities and start the season. But I think, I don't think it's going to be till toward the end of April, honestly, probably around the NFL draft, April 23rd. Mm-hmm. So I think we're going to miss, we're going to miss a good month of baseball, which is probably 25 games or so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least you 137. I'd say it's around there. Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. That, that's my guess, you know, but, could be wrong. Been wrong before. So, right. Whatever. It's going to be like we're talking about the NFL draft. It's going to be weird if it's like if they end up doing it like just over Skype or something like that. That would be so weird. Just to, like I don't know. They would have to. They would definitely find some way to televise it, but it would just be like it would. It wouldn't be as interesting like as having it like actually at a at a play at a stadium or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, hopefully, I mean. The NFL, as far as I know, haven't hasn't said anything about it. But yeah. I think they're waiting. They're gonna. I think they're gonna give it a couple weeks. Once we get into April, yeah. and it's like three weeks out, we're gonna see where we are with that. I mean, mm-hmm. they could still have it. You know, we'll see. We'll see where we are with the with the whole pandemic thing. Yeah. You know, but they could still they could still have it. Yeah. But mm. if not, oh, we have the technology. You know, I mean, you know, the technology now could do it. Yeah, they could. It would just be a lot weirder to see watch it like that. Like pretty much just watching like a conference call on TV or something. Yeah. Like, or just have like the announce, like the people announcing the picks. Oh uh, yeah. You know, at one place, like uh, Goodell and played. which they. Whoever. The teams have like announcing the picks, like you know, they always pick like a Hall of Famer from their team or whatever, like Bruce Smith from the Bills or whatever it may be. Like have all those people at one place mm-hmm. with no fans and no other players. Yeah. And just you know, they can Skype their reactions or yeah. FaceTime or whatever they do. Like, you know, I'm sure the NFL can work it out. Oh yeah. And have it televised. Yeah. The whole thing is the, the worst part of this is the NBA and the NHL because they're in the midst of the season. Yeah, like the NFL is not. It's it's the draft. I mean, yes, it's important, but I mean, it's not. It's not affecting free agency. It's not affecting. It's not even affecting the draft really because mm-hmm. they already had the combine and all the bowl games and everything. So everyone knows who they are. So it's not affecting the NFL at all, really, right now. Mm-hmm. The MLB, yes, take away from spring training games and delaying the season, but the season will start in the April, beginning of May. Like, I don't think it's going to be that bad. And if you cut down on the season, well, that helps. That helps some pitchers and it helps some teams. And it, all right. So, whatever it is, what it is, it's the NBA and the NHL because, I mean, they, they run kind of concurrent mm-hmm. their seasons. 
And it's, those two leagues are coming down to the wire, man. They're in the last quarter of their seasons. Yeah. Going to the playoffs. A I mean, races too. Yeah. And like, I mean, this is, this is a fight for position. Yeah. It's you know? like they were talking about, like, they're still, hopefully, they're still going to end up picking up the season again. But it's like, what do they do? Do they pick it up where it left off? Or they just kind of like miss games? And then it's like weird, like, for, figuring out who, who the pl- playoff teams are. Like, if, or if they could even, even just like, Jump right into the playoffs once it's back or something, which would be weird because it's like might just do that. But it's jump to the playoff. I mean, I, would, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know where this is going to take us. You know, we don't know what's going to happen in the next couple of weeks. Well, you know, if things resume, say in a month <laughs> or toward the end of April, once the NFL draft comes around and everything, say everything's calmed down by then and everything's good. All right, so you missed a month. Yeah, you know, maybe you just resume it. Maybe they do. They just resume the season where it was. And they just take it over, yeah. from there. and you just miss the month of games. That's it. You yeah. Just miss the month, and you pick it up from there. Uh, it's still, you know, it hurts a lot of teams. It hurts, but this is just something that you can't. It's just you can't avoid it. <laughs> it's just it's, you know, and it's I'm I've been like. I, like this year was the year I became a Rangers fan, and now they're two games out of a playoff spot. So it's like, or not two games, I mean, two points out of a playoff spot. So it's like, oh, why does it have to happen now? What <laughs> they're gonna, if they end up going into the, the starting off and into the playoffs, like when it comes back, that would suck. Oh, yeah. Because it's like they're right there. If they just win a couple games, they're probably, they can get it to a spot. Yeah, yeah, it's going to, who knows? No one knows anything at this point, really. No. It's just going to be a day-to-day thing, week-to-week thing, and, you know. But to, like I said, they're doing the right thing. All these organizations, NBA, NHL, MLB, like everybody, they're doing the right thing and trying to contain this the best they can. So just, you know, shut it down now. And hopefully in a couple weeks, you know, we can get back to it. You know, but mm. it just sucks. It yeah. just sucks right now because nothing. Uh. Nothing. <laughs> it's NASCAR and golf. <laughs> I'm not taking away from those sports, but <laughs> they're not really, they're not major. Like, I mean, I don't know. Uh, I'm, well, now that gives me time to like, because even Mike Mike DM me earlier. It was like, you, since you know baseball season's not starting, you want you can get writing more some some more like draft articles. Yeah. So draft like, articles. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to do that. Like writing about writing the like draft profiles and mock drafts. But. You still got MLB to worry about. Tell him to tell him to step off. I'm gonna tell him to step <laughs> off. <laughs> I mean, I mean, just have like. <laughs> just like the uh, the team previews, it's not really that much anyway. He likes to do that. He likes to steal my guys. You and Gio. Oh, yeah. Gio signed up for the Phillies to do a team preview, and he's stealing Gio and <laughs> like <laughs> Gio to do scout, and now he's stealing you. He's like, yeah, we still got MLB team previews to do. <laughs> Granted, now we have a little more time, but still. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was also working on like a a hype video for the Yankees season. Like I almost finished it too. So, but like, even if I finish, I'm probably gonna wait until we know when it's gonna come back. Like I'll just if when they announce when it's gonna be back, I'll just like I'll release the video like like a week before or something. Yeah, it'd be kind of silly to do it now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, everyone's so depressed. <laughs> yeah. I had Joey. I saw Joey posted something on Facebook. He was like. When I was a kid, my worst nightmare was not having any sports, and now I get to see how that is, how I get to live that. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Yep. Yeah, well, this is... More video games for pe- some people. Yeah. Netflix. 
then I get to concentrate on doing some stuff that I've been meaning to do, like, you know, <laughs> with the site and everything. But yeah, I don't know. Have you watched the, have you watched the show? <laughs> I think it's completely off this, but we, oh. we said we would talk off topic. Have you watched the show Hunters? Oh, the one on Amazon? Yeah, yeah. I haven't seen it yet, but it looks good. Oh, it's good, man. It's good. It's really good. Well, the wife and I got through, um, I think we got through the fourth episode tonight. Mm -hmm. The first episode's like, I think it's like an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And uh, the rest of the episodes are like an hour. But um, yeah, it's really good. Really good episode. A really good show. Yeah. Really. So, All right. Let's we, watched, um, we watched the movie Spencer Confidential yeah. the other day. And it was kind of cool because it's based in Boston because Donnie Wahlberg's in it. Uh, Mark Wahlberg's in it. Oh, yeah. And based on like the casino they were opening up in Wonderland up here. Yeah. And um, it's all about like cop corruption and stuff like that. Real good action fighting, like just cop like detective work stuff like if you're into that type of thing really good movie mm-hmm. Mark Wahlberg is awesome yeah, well, <laughs> so good. Good. Wahlberg. see if you get to check that just came out actually oh, really? Spencer Confidential I think it's on Netflix I think we watched it on Netflix but it's really good so just a couple you know things I've been watching <laughs> I've been watching the um, 30 Rock. I've been binge watching that. Oh, I haven't watched that. Uh, it's pretty funny. I never watched that. I should watch it. I love Alec Baldwin. To Tina Fey. Yeah, I love him. Um, I also watched uh, what's the show called? Oh, Entourage. I love that show. Yeah, I never really got into that either. You know, I watched a couple episodes, and I just, I don't know, maybe because I didn't watch it from the beginning, but mm-hmm. I love Jeremy Piven. Yeah. And I don't know. I watched a couple episodes. I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't in the mode for it. You know, sometimes you watch things, and it's like, you're just not in the mood, and it's like, yeah, this is all right. And you don't follow up with it, but maybe I should watch it again. I don't know. There's so many things to watch. There's so many shows out there. It's yeah, it's like literally so many things. Like, you can't even keep up with it. It's like somebody says, "Oh, well, you should watch this. You should watch this." It's like, Jesus, I'm watching other stuff already. Like, yeah, yeah, they catch up on all. Like, and now, like everybody said, watch. Everybody was watching. Um, just forgot the name of it. Freaking the one that was like so. Like everybody get gets killed and shit in it. What the fuck is it called? What was like so popular last? Like the last few years uh um stranger thing oh game of thrones game of thrones yeah i haven't watched it either everybody watched it i didn't ever get into it now that's over i'm like oh, i don't even need to i'm not gonna even try to watch it now it's not even worth it yeah <laughs> i read the books i i used to read i used to read a lot more <clears throat> before i started the site and was busy but yeah. i used to read a lot because i worked overnight so i used to read a lot at work just like bring a book with me, you know, because a lot of the time is downtime. And um, George R. R. Martin, who wrote the books, like the Game of Thrones books, um, he's an excellent writer. I've never read the Game of Thrones books, but I've read read a bunch of his other stuff. Like he's had like other short stories and things like that. And he's an excellent writer. So I'd like to read the books, just like what I did with Walking Dead. I read. Yeah. The comics. Yeah. I read the comics like up to, you know, way past like where the show went. Oh, yeah. You know, I haven't seen, I haven't watched the show in years. I watched Mm. like the first five or six seasons and then it started getting like, yeah, uh, I still, you know, I still watch it, but like, so it's like, I'm just like so different now. It's like so weird. Like, well, now Rick's gone off the show too. Yeah, I heard that. I just, just haven't watched it. I probably haven't watched it in three or four seasons. Like I just, you know, but I read it was funny because I got out of <clears throat> out of watching the show. Then a friend of mine had um, the collection of the comics, and mm-hmm. 
he lent them to me and I read them like up until past like where the show was. And it was interesting to me because like Daryl isn't in the comics, like his yeah. character, not in, not in the comics at all. You know, other people die early. Yeah, like it's, that are still in the show and stuff like that. Like you see the differences. It's like wow, that was kind of weird. You know. Oh yeah the the whole the story with Daryl that like the actor Norman Reedus he like actually went to he went for the role of of Merle, but then they, right. they didn't they didn't lock, they didn't like that for him, so they just created a new character for him. Yeah, yeah. Just so now he's like one of them, he's like my favorite character on the show. I think. Oh, I love Daryl. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. It, they almost, the last episode I watched, they almost, they looked like they're almost going to kill him off. I was like, all right, if they kill him off, I'm done for sure. Yeah, right. I was like, no way. Come on. He's going to live forever. They got to someone forever. <laughs> yeah. Even if it's, even if everybody else is dead, they just, yeah, they have him like come up with the, like the uh, cure that they find they he finds the cure and then he just like he's just at the end of the last episode he's just like chilling smoking a cigarette or something yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what i wanted i wanted them to have Car- carl survive all the way to the end but of course they gotta kill him off yeah but yeah we got way off though whatever yeah. Uh, well, I guess. Well, you said you had work. You had to be up at six, right? Yeah, I got work early in the morning. Yeah. So I guess we can. We should end this then. We'll let you go. Yeah. Let's finish it up. I just yeah. thought. Uh, yeah. Twins World Series. Sorry, I had to throw that in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. That's. Now this was a kind of a somber episode. Obviously, no sports for a while. It's gonna be gonna have to find out things to do. Just get through this together. You know, as a as a uh, as a family. That's what we are. We're family. All of us, you know, at the score crowd. All of us, all of us, all of us that are sports fans, baseball fans. This is everything. We're you know, just get through it. That's all we gotta do. Is we're gonna. And you know we're gonna continue doing our uh, doing our podcasts, getting content out there, doing ep- at least weekly episodes, and then hopefully we get the season going by the end of April, and then you know we can be talking about other stuff you know the season. So yeah, and you know on the score file we still be doing our uh, team previews, so we got got some more to do for that. I'll be starting. I'm gonna be. St- I'm gonna start on the A's one tomorrow, and Yankees one. I'll be getting out. So, yeah, and obviously the other articles like NFL draft stuff that we still gonna be getting out. So definitely, you know, if you want something to to read or whatever, that that's go look at the scorecard. Look at all our articles. You know, if something you need to get through the get through the time. Without watching anything, you can read all about it on on our site. So check that out and follow us at the Score Crow. Follow myself at Alex Keeler, and follow Johnny Bl- Johnny at John J Ball zero two zero two. So yeah, and obviously also the twenty four hour show we've been talking about for a while is unfortunately canceled or at least pushed back until the season actually does get underway. If we can end up being able to do it then, so but. Uh, we'll be back next time, and thank you for listening. You never have too much pot tar. <laughs>